here we are at the end of the road, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for traveling this road with me. Here we are in Dominion Domination. The only time I have ever taken someone from the very first day to the very last day in the Dominion Mesopotamian mode. Uh, it is one of my favorite maps to play because it's so strategic. You cannot go to war with anybody early on. And then you have to strategically go to war later. Uh, it's unlike any other mode. There is cooperative play occasionally, um, frequently. But uh, let's just take a look here. What's going on with our game? Our beloved game that we've been tracking now for weeks and weeks. And it is over. It's over, folks. <clears throat> so there you have it. 15000 for winning. It should be more, by golly. Uh, such a hard mode to, to win. I've played this a bunch and I've, you know, probably won it just a handful of times. I guess I could go over to my stats and check that out. I'm not sure if, if it tells you what kind of game you won. Anyway, uh, let's just take a look around briefly. You can see I didn't guard this middle oil field very strong because, yeah, no thanks. Uh, because I had this pretty much contained over here with the five rail gun and a few just kind of scattered around here. I wasn't worried about them swarming. And don't forget, it takes a long time to get an army across the water and over to here too. That's one of the things that I felt safe over here. And of course I did feel contained over here. I got a bunch of stuff sort of in this region. Um, they could get overrun for sure, especially now we can see, oh, I didn't notice that at the end of the game, you can see everything. Look at this. Look what this guy's hoarding back there. Interesting that the AI would do that. Now I wasn't at war with him, but he was at war with somebody out here. I'm not even going to worry about it, but that's, that's a lot of stuff to be sitting on. Jeez, that's like 900 troops there? Wow. Wow. Okay. That's, this is kind of fun to see. I've never actually uh, realized that you can see everyone's troops. This guy looked like he was mobilizing to try to do something, but uh, nope. No good. Sorry, bud. And then this guy remained my friend to the very end. Um, he was a player character that I had befriended and you know, kind of said, hey, I'm not going after this. I'm going to go somewhere else. And so... You know, you do play cooperatively in this game. It actually happens. So I had a nice big stack here, 10 rail guns. That was fun to build. And then these are, this is a bunch of fighters that I have um, doing this sort of aerial fl uh, flower, 13 of them. So they're all patrolling in this same little region here. Um, but if anything flew into it, each one of those individually would attack and uh, inflict damage individually. So that's kind of fun. And, but, but then if you attack them, you could only attack one at a time. Over here, this is my final stack. This is what I attacked in with. I left my bombers flying around here in case anybody got uh, froggy. I could just smack them down. And uh, that's about it. You know, the, the, the vulnerable oil field was on this side, so I stacked it pretty heavy over here. So I had a nice, nice beefy stack over here. Um, and that's it, man. That's it. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. If anybody doesn't know what movie that's from, then you're too young. By the way, we did lose Bill Paxton recently. That sucked. That guy's a legend. If you haven't seen Bill Paxton in uh, Near Dark, Near Dark, check it out. It's a vampire movie. It's really freaking cool. It has the best bar scene, arguably, of any movie ever. All right. Thanks for checking in, guys. I'll see you all next time. Adios, amigos.